Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we thank you right now. Hallelujah, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We welcome you. We welcome you. Come on on, everybody. Come on on, everybody. Hallelujah. Come on on, everybody. We reverence you. Hello. Hello. A sister from home again. Yes. Sister Tresca Bryant. Hallelujah. Praise God. Good evening to you. Hello, Vanessa. Praise God. My oldest sister. How you doing this evening? Come on on, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. We welcome you. We welcome you to the New Beginnings Prayer Ministry. We thank you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Come on on, everybody. We thank you right now. Hey, CJ. My brother in the house. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, CJ. How you doing? Hey, Sarah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on on and tag. Share. Hallelujah. Hit like. Started again. Whenever we go and try to pre-tag people, for some reason it won't let us go live. Yes, so yes, I'm going to iron yes. that out in the coming yes, weeks so we yes, can make sure yes. we get everybody tagged. Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hello, everybody. Hello. We welcome you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. my God. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
work. Let's go with this up. Hey, mm -hmm. Thank you. 
already taken care of all Hallelujah, our needs. Jesus. The Bible yes, says sir. in the Thank book you. of Philippians, I believe Thank it you, is. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank in you, in Jesus. the book of Philippians, you'll find, turn your mic off if Thank you will, queen, just for a moment. In Thank the book of Philippians, Lord, I think it's chapter number Thank four, around verse 19, it says, My God shall supply. Shall yes. supply. All your needs. All yes. right, all right. Now I want you to notice that in there it right. says all your need. Come on. He didn't say S, needs. Yes, he said yes. need because need. ultimately we have one need. All right. Yes. And yes. every other need flows from that one need. That's all right. And once yes. God take care of that one need, yes. every other need is supplied within that need. Yes, yes. <laughs> Come on, it reminds me when Elisha, not not Elisha, but Elijah. Elijah said, I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. Y'all yes. ever read that before? Abundance. And he had a servant named Gehazi who couldn't see nothing. Hallelujah. Jesus. And Elijah told him to go out there and look, hallelujah, because I know what I hear. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, uh, he kept sending them, he, he, he kept sending Gehazi out then Gehazi come back and say, I don't see nothing. Uh -huh. Elijah said, Go look again. Go look again. Somebody say, Go look again. Go look again. Come on, say, Go look again. Go look again. Why? Because I'm going to make you keep going to look until you, until you see what I see. Oh, uh, can you see My what Lord. I see? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. He kept, and the Bible says he went six times, but on that seventh time. It's something about that number seven, I tell you the truth. Lord, That's Lord. God's number. Hallelujah. On, he went the seventh time, but guess what? Even on the seventh time, he didn't see a cloud, full, uh, a sky full of clouds. My Lord. He said, I only see a cloud, but it's only the size of a man's hand. Amen. It tells you that God can bring big things from small places. You better talk. Come on now. The cloud the yeah. size of a man's hand. See, in other words, man. the reason why I quoted that verse, I wanted to pull that into Philippians 4, where it says, God shall supply all your needs. Yes. Because there's one basic need that we have. Yes. And within the framework of, the, of that one need, all other needs emanate from that one Come need. On now. So within the framework of that one cloud, hallelujah, God can give you a one cloud blessing. One. Yes, and everything sir. you need is in that one cloud. One cloud. Because I guarantee it is what I'm trying to get y'all to see. It, 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 as they kept looking at that one cloud, yes. and then other clouds begin to gather. Yes, sir. How, how many one cloud, cloud? One yeah. cloud gave gave yes, way sir. to other clouds. Yes. And after a while, the sky was full of clouds. Yes. Hallelujah. You may you, you may only see one cloud right now. Lord, well, somebody say, keep on looking. Keep, keep on, on looking. Look. After a while, the sky is going to be full. Hallelujah. Because God knows how to bring a devil. Yes, he does. God knows Jesus. how to bring water on your dry places. My Lord, my uh, Lord. Somebody hallelujah. say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We are blessed Thank and you, honored Jesus. by the Lord. Amen. Yes, to be with you Thank once you, again Jesus. tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is session number 19. Yes, sir. And we are right, yet still right. talking about the person and the work of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. Ooh. We must understand, and, and, I, and I still maintain, and I still contend, that for the most part, the Holy Ghost is perhaps... The most misunderstood person in the Godhead. All right, all right. Hallelujah. We know about God the Father. We know the Father created the earth. Mm -hmm. We know we, we, we know something about him that the Father created, the Father spoke in creation. That's right. And the Lord brought forth these things. We know about the Lord Jesus Christ for the most part. We know that he came and he hung, bled, and died, and they buried him in a, yeah. in, in a borrowed tomb. And three days later, he rose from the dead with all power. We know that he was a historical figure that walked the streets of Jerusalem. Yes, yes. We know that Jesus went about healing the amen what about doing good the bible says and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for god was with him yes. the bible says god was in christ reconciling the world unto himself but when it comes to the holy ghost yes it seems almost almost and, and, and it saddens me but many times it seems like he is the the, 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 the neglected person of the Trinity. My Lord. He is the forgotten person of the Godhead. We don't put a lot of emphasis on him, Jesus. but it's time to put the emphasis back on the Holy Ghost. My Lord. Because My Lord. the work of God that God wants to accomplish in these days, hallelujah, yes. it can only be done in the person that through yes. the power yes. of yes. the Holy Ghost. Amen. We were talking, amen, before the service started. They were talking uh, about... Uh, Evangelist Walker's daughter was bringing a word mm -hmm. and I caught some of that word Evangelist. I heard her talking about the anointing yes. talking about what we've been anointed to do Amen. Right. Yes. Hallelujah. She, she put emphasis on the anointing yes. and my mind went back to Isaiah 10 27 Isaiah 10 27 says Hallelujah 
that 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 it that uh that that, that it shall come to pass in that day that the yoke shall be destroyed. Amen. Lord. Because of the anointing. Yes. Hallelujah. The yoke, amen. The, that the burden shall be taken off of your neck. Amen. Sure. Amen. The yoke off your neck and the burden off your shoulders. So uh -huh. it occurred to me that the anointing is the burden removing, yoke destroying right. power of God. Jesus. That's what the anointing is. Yes, the anointing is. is what removes the yoke. Yes. The anointing is what removes the burden and destroys the yoke. Amen. Yes. So what, whatever it is that we need to whatever whatever it is that we need removed and whatever right. it is that we need to be destroyed, help me, Holy Ghost. Okay. It can't be done without the person and the work of the Holy Ghost. Amen. This is why Jesus, amen, told. Right. This is why Jesus told his disciples, amen. He told them to tarry into yes. his Jerusalem, amen, Jesus. until you be endued with power from on high. In other right. words, he was telling them, don't go and try to build a church. Don't go, amen, and try to establish a work. Don't go and try to do things in your own strength. That's right. He that's told them right. to wait. Glory wait. God. He said, to, that's what the word tarry means. The word tarry simply means wait. wait. Now, I grew up in holiness. And the way I grew up, they had that they, they tarry, tarry meant you got yeah. at the altar. Yeah. And you called the name Jesus. Yes. You called Jesus until spit was flying. Yeah. You yeah. called Jesus until slob was coming down your... Uh -huh. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Now, I thank God for my roots in holiness. Uh -huh. I do. Amen. Because one thing I love about it, those, 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 those old folks, they might didn't have a whole lot of theology, but them folks love God. Yes, yes Lord. They did. And they knew how to get a hold of God. Hallelujah. They knew how to lay in that altar and pray through. Yes, sir. They knew how to stay there until the That's Holy Ghost right. came. Amen. Hallelujah. And I thank God that I had that example lived out in front of me. I thank God I was raised up in a church. Amen. Jesus. And I was raised up up under eldership and leadership. Amen. People who knew how to call on the name of the Lord. People who knew how to seek the Lord while yes. he was found. And call on his name while he was near. That's right. People who knew how to throw themselves on the altar and self abandonment and say, For God I live and for God I live. People who knew how to go after God with a passion. Yes. My question right now is, Where's the passion? Where's the passion? We have lost that passion for the most part in the modern church. Amen. We have settled, amen, for routine and ritual. Amen. Lord, Hallelujah. So These people went after God with a passion. They had a they met, they had a heart and a mind to go after the things sure of God. Did. And I believe God is bringing that back to That's the church. Right. That's uh, right. Let me say that another way. God is bringing that back to a segment of the church. Yes. Because unfortunately, you still got some people who are still satisfied with their ritual. My Lord. When they're still satisfied with their routine. My Lord. And God will leave them right there in their routine. Amen. My Lord. But there are some folks, glory to God, I'm looking at some folks on Facebook Live tonight. Amen who are willing to throw themselves at the altar in self-abandonment and say, Lord, I don't care what you have to move. I don't Jesus. care what you have to do. Hallelujah. Lord, I'm going to stay here. Glory to God. Just like Jacob in the 32nd That's chapter right. of the book That's of right. Genesis, the Bible says he wrestled God all night, all night long. And when the breaking of day began to happen, the Break. angel tried to leave, but Jacob grabbed a hold of him and said, wait a minute. I ain't letting you go until you give me what you came Amen. to give me. Oh, 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 hallelujah. Look at somebody say, I ain't going to let him go. I ain't going to let him go. Uh, come on, type it in the comments and say, I'm not I'm not gonna let go until go. God gives me what I'm That's supposed right. to have. That's I'm not gonna serve for anything, anything less, less than what the blood of Jesus That's has already right. accomplished. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not gonna settle for less than Nothing what God less. has said I can have. Hallelujah. Said can have. He said I can have it and I want it. I Hallelujah. want it. Oh, Jesus. See, I'm gonna tell you something, yeah. Sister Walker. I gotta copy my daddy's will. Hallelujah. Mm. See, there's a devil trying to get oh. you to settle out of court, but I got a copy of daddy's oh, will geez. right here. And the Bible says the promises of God are yes and they are amen. No, you help me now. I said the promises of God are yes and they are amen. You see, when you got a copy of the will, come on. Amen. Whatever you know what the Father says. And this is why it is so important that we know what the Word says. I'm going to try to get to this. I'm going to get to this tonight or not. But this is why it's so important we got to copy Daddy's will. That's right. And we got to spend time in this will right. so we can understand what belongs to us. That's right. The Bible That's says right. the promises of God that we have in Christ Jesus. They are yes, yes and amen. And amen. That's right. Now, if you read that closely, the Bible's he's the one said yes, but we the one got to say amen. amen. That's right. In other words, That's right. we got to seal the deal That's with right. our amen. Right. We got the same God said. Yes. So when that God has declared yes. from the heavens, can be kept. I feel that picture getting over there. We got to say what God says. Oh, Hallelujah. God says. His promises are yes and they are amen. That's right. So don't settle. Come on, son. Come on, son. I ain't settled. I ain't settled. Uh, devil, you came don't too you late. Sell. Hallelujah. You don't tried you to sell. get me to settle out of court, Ooh, but I refused. Yes, 
I know what my daddy said. Hallelujah. And I'm going to stay in this word. That's Hallelujah. Right. And I'm going to keep confessing That's this word. Right. I'm going right. to keep saying what God says. I'm going to keep standing on this word. Ooh. Hallelujah. Keep standing on the promises. Hallelujah. I'm, I don't want to just sit in the premises. I'm going to stand on the promises. Amen. Hallelujah. Ooh. I'm going to do what God says do. Yes. I'm going to say what God says say. And I'm going to believe what God says believe. Right. Hallelujah. Right. I'm not moved by what I see. Hallelujah. The Bible teaches us emphatically. The Bible teaches us, uh, hallelujah, expeditiously that we're not supposed to just look at things that are seen. Amen. 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 And we're not supposed to be circumstantially driven. Amen. We are supposed to be revelation driven. Amen. Our revelation, the revelation of God, the, the word of the Lord is supposed to be final authority for us. My Lord. Mm -hmm. Let me see can I back up here now and try That's to right. try to get some of this. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost, the person and the work of the Holy Ghost. And again, this is part 19. Now the, 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 the Holy Ghost, when he comes, he comes with gifts. Yeah. As we as we said in our previous studies, let me just try to get to this. He, that there are two groups of nine. We talked about the two groups of nine. The nine fruit of the spirit yes. and the nine gifts of the spirit. Mm -hmm. We talked yes. about those. Now, when we talk about the gifts of the spirit, queen, there are three groups of three. Right. You know, three times three is nine. That's is that right? right? Mm -hmm. So there are three groups of three when it comes to the gifts of the spirit. Amen. Amen. That encompasses the, the wholeness of the work of That's the Holy right. Ghost as far as the gifts are concerned. That's right. Now, I want to say this. The gifts of the Holy Ghost are available to every born again Holy Ghost filled believer. My Lord. Mm -hmm. The gifts of the Spirit are not just available for, to those that are in ministry. Mm -hmm. yeah. The gifts of the Holy Ghost is available to all of us. All which of means us. God will give you a word, amen, while you're walking through Walmart. That's right. God will give, sure you, a, God will give you a word at the dollar will. store. He's Hallelujah. Sure Brother, Brother Taylor, you can lay hands on somebody, amen, in the parking lot. That's right. And they can That's receive true. their healing. Amen. So get all of God, all, and this, is why, this is the reason why God has, watch what God has done. God in his wisdom. God has strategically placed us in, in unique Place. places. Amen. Place. God has placed you in your place of business. Wherever it is you work, That's God right. has placed you there. Amen. Because the placement of God is just as important as the call of God. That's right. Oh. God Ooh. called you and he placed you. Amen. Oh. Yes. And see, our problem is in times past that we have uh, we have erroneously thought that these things will only work at the church house. Mm. My Lord. But we forgot, we forgot to understand that we are the house of we the church. Are the house Right. Praise <laughs> we are the church. We are the church. When you get up on Sunday morning, you're not on your way to church. Yeah. You're the church on the way. My Lord. And we, Lord. We, we, we forgot about that. Yeah. Just walk. For some reason, we think God lives in boards and bricks. Yeah. Come on. But he doesn't. God lives in his people. Yeah. Now, the idea is when we all come together, they're, su they're supposed to be in unity. Amen. And a, and, and a conglomeration of power. Amen. When we come together, mm. I bring my faith. You bring your That's faith. Right. He brings his faith. She Jesus. brings her faith. Hello, you bring your gift and he brings his gift. That's right. She brings it. See that? In other words, there's no competition. Right. There is a completion there. Oh, when we come together, the whole body is ministered to That's him. Right. Because there's That's no right. competition. There's That's no right. schism. Yeah. There's no division. No come on. Everybody has an expression. Everybody Ooh, has a manifestation. Amen. Yeah. Now, I'm in, I'm in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7. 1 Corinthians 12, 7 says the purpose of the gifts. Hallelujah. Watch. Oh, I got it in my notes, right? 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7. Jesus. It says that the gifts, the, the manifestation. So say manifestation. Manifestation. The word manifestation, that's a big word that a lot of times they get thrown around in church. But all manifestation means is showing forth. Mm -hmm. All manifestation means is demonstration. That's all it means. It's simply saying that the showing forth or the demonstration of the Holy Ghost, amen, is given for everybody's benefit. That's right. That's right. It is not to pump you up. That's right. God don't use you to pump you up. But I, I but I've seen people and y'all seen it too. Sometimes when God go to use on a person, I mean, it's gonna be God. That's right. If they ain't careful, they get heady. They give a high mind. Amen. Right, they they, they right. tend to get beside themselves. Right. And they forget about the fact that it's not you, no. but it's the gift of God that's on the God. inside of you. That's right. Mm. The gift. Say amen. Say it's the gift. Amen. It's the it's gift. The, gift. the Bible gift. says there are diversities, which means different kinds of gifts, but it's the same spirit. Mm. That's right. Amen. So to that's each that's one, right. to each one, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7, it says to each one. That means everybody got That's access right. to this. That's right. To each everybody. one is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the benefit of everybody. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Asking for the spiritual gifts, amen, should not be to give us a, a special or holier-than-thou status. Yes. 
Jesus. Lord, have mercy. Jesus. That, that we better than folk. Mm -hmm. That God don't do it through me, then he ain't going to do it. Oh, that, that's, that's a lie. That's a lie out of hell right there. Hallelujah. That makes you right. think right. you better than better other than folks. Than Amen. Right. That if I don't get it from you, that that if I can't get it from you, that means I can't get it. The devil is a lie. So that ain't how God, God, amen. God is not subject to what He's we say. No. I want y'all to get this now, hallelujah. Jesus. But 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 every person should be motivated, Queen. That's right. With the mindset, amen. His, his should be our motivation. Uh -huh. We should be for the promotion of the common good. Yes. I want everybody blessed. That's right. That's right. I want everybody to Me get a too. touch. Jesus. I don't just want to just get mine. Yes. I want us all to be blessed. See, that's why the Bible says, weep with those that weep and rejoice with them that rejoice. Sure. He's talking about the unity of the body, yeah. that we should celebrate each other's victory. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. Instead of being jealous of that's each other's right. victory. Oh, we should learn how to celebrate, celebrate each other and not just tolerate each other. That's we got to learn how to genuinely celebrate, celebrate. and to really be glad. glad. Hey. See, somebody say glad. glad. We got to really, up to my free though, right. we got to genuinely mean and authentically it. be mean glad it. when mean I see my brother or sister blessed. Because right. there's no way in the world you can be blessed and it don't make me see if, if we're all in the same body. Come on. If we are members of the same body, if you're blessed, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Woo, that's it. <laughs> Can y'all see that? That's right. Hallelujah. This is, it. And this is the mind that we've got to have. That's right. That's that's right. right. Instead of letting the right. devil come in come and trick in. us. Hallelujah. But these Jesus. things are for the promotion of the common good for the entire body of Christ. Amen. Right. Oh, hey. Hallelujah. This, and if we think of it this way, here's what here's what happened, Brother Taylor. It will deter us away from mm -hmm. pride. Because pride is pride works in the church like corrosion. Oh my God. You know what corrosion do? Corrosion get a hold of a piece of metal. And if you don't and, and if you don't get that metal protected pretty soon, corrosion turns into rust. Mm -hmm. And eventually it eats away. Corrosion means it, it just eats away at a structure. Ooh. And after a while, it becomes just a shell of what it used to be. My and my concern is that the church, for the most part, is only a shell of what it's supposed to supposed be. Supposed to be, my Lord. But thank God, God specializes. In, re in restoration. All right. All right. All so right. instead, of, it, 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 so so what happens again? If we if we get the right mindset, it will deter us away from corrosive pride. Yes. As we realize that each gift has a specific use. That's right. And each one gift is not any better or inferior than the other gift. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You got a gift to preach, or you got a gift to sing, or God gives you a word of wisdom. God, and we're gonna talk about the revelation gifts here in a few moments. God give you a word of knowledge concerning something going on in somebody's life. That doesn't make you better. That's right. That's Hallelujah. Right. As a matter of fact, I'm going to tell you something. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me give you a principle. The more of a servant you become, the more God will use you. Amen. The more you get the focus off of you and put it on him, the more you position yourself then to be used by God. God will use you in ways that will astound you if you don't try to My take Lord. his glory. I see people say, I can give you a word. You, you got some of these prophets, they got the nerve to charge people for the word of the Lord. Sure Hallelujah. But I, don't, I don't know that they, they do, do it as much now, but they used to back in the day, they, they, had, they, they had these lines. They, they got a certain dollar amount is assigned to each line. Oh, my Amen. For, for a 20 In the $20 line, you just get a little general word. Yeah. In a $50 line, you get a, a, more, a little more specific word. <laughs> but in the $100 line, you get a private audience with the prophet then. Mm. Y'all, that's witchcraft. Witchcraft. Oh. You, you, can go down, you can go to Madam So and So at the trailer down there and get that. What you? You give her hundred dollars, she'll read your stars. She'll read your lucky stars. My Lord. Don't want to talk now. Hallelujah. Pay for God. Amen. Lord. So we can't do that. You don't. Yeah, amen. You can't pay for the word of the Lord. My Lord. And you don't pay for these gifts. Some of these folks are gifted by the Lord. God has gifted them. They gifted the player. They gifted the sing. Hallelujah. And they want to, and they got a certain dollar amount. And they won't move unless you pay them a certain you dollar amount. Say it. You better say it. Oh my yeah, God. I said it. It is true. True. Oh my Lord. But I don't move for no less than three hundred dollars. But you stay where you at. Amen. Right, right, right. Because you ain't gonna bring that bring that you ain't gonna bring that bad spirit to my event. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Man. I am not looking for a hireling. I'm looking for a servant. Yes. Jesus. Right. Somebody who is willing to serve. Amen. That's right. And who will, yeah. this, and who will graciously accept yeah. whatever the people yeah. give you. That's right. And say thank you. Nothing in my hands I bring. I don't care. Freely I have received it. Jeez. And freely I'm going to give it. Yeah. Okay. And this is the way we are to operate. That's don't right. you dare sign a money. Because the reality of it is, can nobody pay you for Whoa. what you do? Jesus. Can't nobody pay you for what God has put in you. There is no dollar amount, Queen, that is sufficient to pay you for what you That's do. That's right. 
So you can't charge a certain amount and they can't pay you a certain My amount. Lord. Because it's priceless. 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 I said it's priceless. priceless. That's all right. Consider the price. Go back to go back to the cross. Consider what it took. For us to be able to enjoy the benefits. It took the death of a saint. It is an insult. Listen, I'm getting this camera now. It is an insult to the blood of Jesus for you to assign a monetary value to your ministry. Oh my God. You are insulting the blood of Jesus. It's a slap in the face of the Holy Ghost. You charge it for his gifts. Lord. You a witch. You a, you got a wrong spirit. You need to repent. See, this is what this is what Jesus told Simon the sorcerer. Y'all y'all read it in the book of Acts. Simon the sorcerer. The Bible says when he saw Peter and when he saw them moving in the spirit, he offered them money. Peter said, "Your money perish with you. To so even think you can buy the gift of God." My Lord. Oh, my God. And God in this hour is looking for some folks who can't be bought. Come on, honey. You better. Pastor, look at me for a minute, Pastor. Pastor, free yourself from folks. Go get you a job so you won't be dependent on folks to pay you. So you can stand up and say what God gives you to say. Come on, Pastor. I love you. I can talk because I'm a pastor. Amen. And Amen. Get you a job. Get, go, amen. You can find a job anywhere now. Go get you a job. That way when you stand up and preach, you can say what does saith the Lord. And if they don't give you a dime, you can still won't be, won't be constricted by the pocketbook of your, of your folks. Oh, I know you're good mad at me now. Hallelujah. But y'all, it's the truth. Amen. It's the truth. And I don't take it back. It's true. Hallelujah. Let people get the Bible. Paul, the, Paul said it this way. I love the way Paul in the 16th chapter. I'm trying to get the, I'm trying to get to the gifts, but somebody leaning on me here tonight. Hallelujah. In the 16th, in the 16th chapter of the book of 1 Corinthians, Paul said it this way. Paul said, and when it comes to the collection, he says, Let each one of you lay by him in store. He says, so that there be no collection when I come. Mm. Paul said, when I come, I don't want you to have to stop and take up money. Mm -hmm. I, want all, I want all that to be taken care of before I get there. Said, he said that. Now, that's in the Bible. It's in the word. I'm not making it up. It's no, in your not. Bible. It's hallelujah. Paul said, that way when I come, hallelujah, we can just flow in the Holy Ghost. Let it this morning. <laughs> Somebody say amen. Oh, I got some folks in the word with me tonight. Hallelujah. <laughs> Now, well, another thing about these gifts, amen. These gifts are not designed to make us shine and try to outshine each other. Oh, no, 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 no. I, 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 used, I used to hate to go to these these different services when you got, you know, sometimes people got these, they, sometimes they have these services, they have these programs, and you got about four or five preachers on the same program, and they get to, they're trying to out-preach one another. Not preach one another. My Lord. Y'all know y'all. We've all seen that. Yes, Jesus. That ain't a preach. That, that, that's not preaching. That's a show. That's so, showtime at the Apollo. You trying to outshot one another. You trying to outshine each other. Sometimes it used to be back in the day. Amen. They have choir anniversaries. I'm going to get everybody mad now. They used to have choir anniversaries back in the day. You have about four or five churches on program. We're going to have so and so choir to come and sing an A and B selection. Y'all know that? <laughs> Hallelujah. And most of the time, they're, they're trying to outsing each other. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but we ain't doing all that. Y'all, we can't do that stuff. Come on. Now, the whistle has blown for that kind of stuff. Because in spite of all that kind of stuff, the church is still in the mess that it's in. <laughs> Y'all know we got more churches than you shake stick at. We got churches on every corner. We're the most, we're the most preached to people in the world. Amen. We got people that can sing you under the pews, but where's the power? We're still not seeing the manifestation of the power. Amen. Uh, amen. Y'all got to stay with me now. Hallelujah. Let's go a little further. Hallelujah. He's, he said these gifts. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm, I'm doing good. Hallelujah. He said that they, now what we, what we have to realize is that when God gives these gifts, these gifts are meant to interact. In other words, it's not. This is not the Pastor Miller show. That's right. We're supposed to interact, interact. and I must. Whenever the Lord gives you something, I must yield to you. That's right. And let the Lord speak what He has given you. Amen. And I will do that. Amen. Wholeheartedly, these gifts are meant to interact. No one individual. Listen to me closely. No one individual have all the gifts, but Jesus Christ. My Jesus Lord. is the only one who operated in all the gifts. My Lord. There's not a man on earth walk, ha, operating in all the gifts at one time. No. My Lord. My Lord. Therefore, we need each other. Mm. 
Yes. We need other members of the body of Christ. That's right. And I need you and your gifting. That's right. I'm so glad these brothers and sisters in the house tonight because each one of them brings something. Mm -hmm. Every one of you brings something to the table. Jesus. Amen. And and to let you flow and operate in your gifting, yeah. whatever that gift is. Mm -hmm. When the Lord give it to you, I want you to flow. Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen. Glory because many times people will go home sick. Amen. Because people didn't allow the gift of the Holy Ghost to flow mm -hmm. through who God wanted to flow through. That's right. Sometimes God will put somebody's healing in your mouth. Right. My right. Lord. Right. And if you don't release it, you Amen. You go home. Amen. And, and and well, I guess if the Lord, if the Lord wanted to heal, He would have done it. He gave the word, but because we have suppressed the flow, we suppress the Holy Ghost. Mm. He, we, we're not giving Him His liberty. My Lord, my we Lord. are grieving my the Lord. Spirit many times. Every Sunday, many times He's grieving. My Lord. This one going through this. Oh my God! Oh my God! Again, these gifts are meant to interact. Mm. Jeez. Hallelujah! We need other members of the body of Christ. To compliment our own. Say compliment. Compliment. I don't need you to compete. I need you to compliment. compliment. We compliment each other. Queen and I compliment each other. Amen. I love my I love what she does. I get amen. Hallelujah. She she what she does make it easy for me to do what I do. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. I told her before I said, Queen, it's easy to plant a field that has already been plowed. Jesus. <laughs> she goes before me and tear up the dirt, the dirt. Then all I got to do is come along and drop the seeds. Because the, the plow has already been, it already been, already, already been, the field's already been plowed. Hallelujah. Jesus. And sometimes God will give her word. My Lord. And, and she had liberty to give it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Watch this. Let's go a little more here. Amen. Now. Revelation gift. Say revelation. Revelation. We talked about the word of wisdom. I'm going to take a few more minutes to kind of get into a little bit more of this. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to at the bottom and get you set up for next time. Hallelujah. Amen. The revelation gifts are the gifts that reveal something. Gifts that show something. Again, there are three groups of three. Three revelation gifts. Three power gifts. Three inspirational gifts. Revelation. Power. Inspiration. The revelation gifts are gifts that show something. The power gifts are the gifts that do something. Yes. The inspiration yes. gifts are the gifts that say something. Wow. Amen. Three sets of three. Yes. And they all have to work. We need them all working. Mm. We need them all working together. Amen. Yes. Yes. Now, hallelujah. And, they, and what I love about it, y'all, is that they all are available to every born-again, spirit-filled believer Amen. has access to these gifts. All right, so we talked about the word of wisdom. We told that the word of wisdom, amen, is supernatural insight in the mind of God concerning your situation. They're concerning something that God wants you to do that's going to alter your future, that's going to bring something to pass in your life, that's going to position you to receive the advanced plan of God. Yes. In other words, in order to receive the positioning of God, we need the wisdom of yes. God. Yes. Somebody say wisdom. Wisdom, wisdom. wisdom, means, wisdom. To, wisdom means to know how to apply knowledge. That's Amen. Right. A lot of folks got knowledge, but they don't have no wisdom. Mm. My Lord. There is a difference between knowledge and wisdom. and wisdom. Knowledge just means to know some things, but wisdom means to understand where to put what you know. That's right. You got to know how to categorize what you know. That's Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Knowledge tells me that my car won't crank, but wisdom tells me why it ain't cranking. Come on, honey. <laughs> I go out there and hit the key, but it ain't start. Well, I know it ain't starting. So what's going on? I have to have some wisdom to understand wisdom. whether it's the battery or whether it's the starter or whatever the situation right. is. That's Amen. Right. All right. So now the word of wisdom, we talked about it. Now the word of knowledge. And this, and again, this is not the gift of knowledge. It is the gift of the word of knowledge. Okay. I want to make that clear. Say gift. Yeah. Of the word of knowledge. Of the word word of knowledge. knowledge. God does not give a gift of knowledge. He gives the gift of the word of knowledge. Okay. This, I am in 1 I'm in Corinthians chapter 12, uh -huh. verse 8. He says, for one is given by the spirit, the word of wisdom, and to another, the word of knowledge. Now, we told you that a word is a fragmentary part of a sentence. Uh -huh. yeah. The word is, uh, one word is not a whole sentence. Uh -huh. But a sentence is a composition composed of more than one word. Mm -hmm. Amen. I got to, I got to get ready to close there. Now, hallelujah. So what God now God has all knowledge, doesn't he? Amen. Yes. How much about your life does God know? Everything. No living thing. Mm -hmm. But God will impart a word Jesus. of his knowledge concerning your life. Mm. Have you have you ever you, you ever seen again and, and we talked about we, we we've said this before. When the Holy Spirit is genuinely moving. 
There are times when a man of God, a woman of God, or either just a believer, anybody, that's Holy Ghost filled, God will let you see certain facts, certain situations of what's going on in somebody's life. Mm -hmm. yeah. He'll show you that so-and-so dealing with a wayward child yeah. that's right. or so-and-so dealing with a situation in yeah. a home. Yeah. Huh? Uh, he dealing with something on the job. That's a word of knowledge. That's right. My Lord. And when you give that, sometimes we look and say, wow, how did you know that? My well, Lord. the truth of the matter is you didn't know it. Didn't know. But the Holy Ghost knows it. Yeah. And at a flash, at a, in, in a moment, right. he'll give you a word of his knowledge. Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, the devil tries to mimic that through the spirit of divination. Those that have familiar spirits. Mm -hmm. Jesus. We're mimic and Im uh, we yeah. become imposters of that. But just because there's a mimic, watch this. Don't ever do away with the real just because there's a counterfeit. Right. There, there's a lot of counterfeit $20 bills All right, floating around. Yes. All right, Pastor. But there's a lot of real 20s too. All right. yes. So I ain't going to throw away my money because there's counterfeit money That's floating right. around. That's I'm right. just going to make sure I'm dealing with real money. That's so I'm going to make sure I'm dealing with, when it comes to the things of the Spirit, I'm going to make sure I'm dealing with the real thing. That's real. Right. And the way you make sure you're dealing with the real thing is that you maintain your relationship with God. Maintain. Because if you maintain your relationship with God and maintain your relationship with the Holy Spirit, you don't have to fear getting a counterfeit. That's right. That's right. The Bible says if any man asks God for a piece of bread, will he give him a stone? No. Mm -hmm. If he asks for an egg, will he give him a rock? No. Mm -hmm. So, hallelujah. He says, how much more than will the Father give the Holy Ghost? To yes. give ask him? In other words, he's saying, if you ask the Father for the Holy Ghost, you don't have to be afraid of receiving something Come that's on. counterfeit or something that's Jesus. fake. It's, he give you something that's real. So we got the real Holy Ghost. That's real. And with the real Holy Ghost, there are real gifts. Real. Real. And, 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 and what I'm trying to get us, on, the, the main thing I'm trying to get us to see tonight, and the main thing I'm trying to get us to see uh, uh, all throughout these sessions, is that many times these gifts are working more than we realize they are. Amen. Because Amen. like I said, these gifts will work in the marketplace. Check the ministry of Jesus. Most of the miracles that Jesus performed, where were they performed at? That's right. In the marketplace, when he was out, out, out and about, as a matter of fact, where Je what was Jesus the most hated at? He was the most hated in the temple. Is that right? So where you gonna be most hated at? In the temple. Your biggest listen me now, now. You put a you put a pin in this. Your biggest enemy is gonna come from church folks. Now you put a pin in that. And so that that means some of your that means some of your greatest. Some of the greatest ways God's going to move you is when you're on your way to the store. Mm. When, you're trying to, when you're trying to leave the dollar store. You're down, you're down there in Dollar Jr. just trying to get you a loaf of bread. And, and the Holy Ghost begins. See, are y'all listening to what I'm saying? See, because this is for daily living. That's daily. It's for everyday living. Every These day living. gifts are for everyday every living. Day living. Every day. Now, it's interesting to me. You know, when the, and, and I'm going to close like this because 725. Let me close like this. You know when a, when, a, when a young woman gets married, you know, a bride and a groom, uh, they have uh, a a, register, a place where they're registered to receive gifts. Is that right? Yes. They got a certain, whether it be a department store or some other kind of gifting store, what have you. It says so-and-so are registered at this store. That means if you want to give them a gift, you go to that store and you buy them a gift and, it, and you go contribute your money toward that registry and you pick out whatever item you want to pick out. Is that right? right. All right, now here, here's what I want you to see. Now, the gifts that the bride receives on her wedding day, those gifts, watch this, those gifts really are going to translate into tools that she's going to use when she gets home. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm going somewhere. Stay with me now. In other words, on the wedding day, if she receives a cake mixer, she's not receiving a cake mixer just so it can look pretty on the mm -hmm. table. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's receiving a cake mixer so she can mix up some cakes. <laughs> Why? So she can make her husband a cake. That's right. Oh, man. Hallelujah. When she receives a set of pots, right. she ain't receiving a set of pots. Just, ooh, it got pretty. The purpose of us today, often listen to The purpose of a pot is not to be pretty. That's right. The purpose of a pot is to put some fire in it and some food in it. Hallelujah. In other words, watch, watch, I'm going to say this. Every gift that bride receives, it is something that she is to use. To make her home better. That's right. Amen. Amen. For the betterment of that home. Of that home. But now, watch this. On the wedding day, it's called gifts. Mm -hmm. But when she get home, it's called tools. Right. <laughs> right. Y'all don't, don't, don't hear what That's I'm saying. Right. So these gifts of the Holy Ghost, That's watch right. this. When you receive the infilling of the Spirit, they're gifts. 
But when you get among the body, when you get among God's people, they become tools, tools. of ministry. That's right. That's you become right. a tool in the hand of God. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost uses your life then as a vehicle through which he can flow to touch somebody else. Amen. And if we're not letting our lives be a reservoir and a channel to touch other folk, That's then right. we're just wasting our time. Amen. It's a waste of time. Jesus. So we need these giftings because these gifts are to, somebody say, tools of the trade. We all are called to do kingdom work. Is that right? That's right. So these are the tools whereby which God has gifted us to carry out kingdom assignment. That's Amen. Right. If you're gifted to sing, every song you sing, the purpose of your singing is not, the t not it's not for questions, but mess with y'all now. Amen. If you're only singing for people to tell you how great you are, no, you, missed your whole, you missed your you whole missed purpose of singing. Right there, sure you don't yeah. miss it all together. The purpose of your singing, hallelujah, is to bring somebody into close proximity yeah. to the one that you're singing about. That's right. That's you are to, your, your, your yeah. singing is a tool of outreach. Yeah. I said your singing is a tool of outreach. That's right. That's right. Amen. And, if, and watch this. And if God can trust you with it, then God will bring people in your life that will begin to bless you monetarily. You won't have to ask for it. Sure won't. Y'all don't want to talk now. That's true. But you got these folks that always got to ask for money and always got, nah, I'll come, but y'all got to pay me. You, 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 you may have a talent, but is it really a gift? Now, we got to begin to distinguish and begin to tell the difference between folks that are just talented and those that are truly gifted. Oh boy. Some folks have talent, but they don't have no knowledge. All right, Pastor. Mm. All right, Pastor. Let me give you something to think about. In the Gospel of Matthew 25, there were, there were 10 virgins. Mm -hmm. The Bible says five of them were wise, five were foolish. foolish. What made the foolish virgins foolish? The fact that they didn't have no oil in their lamp. Now, watch this. Watch this now. They had a lamp. But they have no oil. No oil. No oil. But now the Bible says all ten of them were virgins. Mm -hmm. Jesus. In other words, you got the position, That's right. but you don't have the possession. All right, Pastor. <laughs> That's right. That's right. They were all they were all waiting. I got the clothes, but they were all waiting for the midnight cry of the bridegroom. They were all waiting, waiting. but they weren't all ready. That's right. Mm -hmm. Some That's folk right. waiting, but they ain't ready. They ain't ready. Because they have a lamp, but they don't have no oil in That's the lamp. That's right. Right. Now, next time we're going to get back into some of these things, uh, uh, the gifts of the Holy Ghost, amen, his giftings. I hope I said something tonight amen. That, that brought about amen. some edification. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of you might be a little mad with Pastor T tonight. That's all right, too. <laughs> amen. Sometimes you have to rub folks a certain way so in order to arrest their attention. That's amen. True. Sometimes amen. God will slap us in there. Some folks have to get slapped completely down amen. before they even know they've been hit. Hallelujah. But I give God praise for the word, amen, because it's the word that's going to sustain us. That's right. Amen. And we thank God for his word tonight. Amen. So I'm going to let Queen come in right now. and She's going to just talk to us a minute while we get this Lord. set up. And then praise we're going to pray with some people. And then we're going to close tonight's session. Praise you. the Lord, everybody. Praise Hallelujah. Lord. We do thank each and every one of you all for joining in with us. And I want to thank those that are actually in here with us. Talk about I want to first thank yes. Evangelist Denise Walker. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, it was, it, when she just come through the door, it just blesses my soul. I thank God for Richard <laughs> Teller Jr., my yes, God Lord. brother. Yes, always Lord. got my back. What and I blessing. thank God for my little nephew. Hallelujah. He's always on the scene to help his big angel. What a blessing. I am man. so thankful. Hallelujah for them. And I thank God for every viewer. Hallelujah. Taking time out. Hallelujah. To come in and just visit with us. Something you don't have to do, but we thank you for it anyway. That's right. Thank you for lending us your time. Hallelujah. Only thing we're trying to do is just, hallelujah, tell you about a man called Jesus. That's all. That's all. We don't want nothing. Hallelujah. We just want to just bless you. Bless you. If, if, if we can and just tell you about what he can do. Hallelujah. If you let him in. That's all. Hallelujah. We thank you for it. Hallelujah. Glory we just God. give God all the praise, all the honor. I yes, thank God for new beginnings. All the new beginnings members, we thank God for you. Hallelujah. You are truly a blessing. And we just give God all the praise. We can't thank you guys enough. Hallelujah. Because that's all. We're just pilgrims passing through that's a barren all. land. Hallelujah. Trying to find something and learn something along this way to help somebody else. You know, that's what we were created for, to tell somebody about Jesus. Hallelujah. Just to tell somebody about it. And I do that in the stores, outside, in my yard. Hallelujah. When I'm at my job, just to tell somebody about the goodness of Jesus. That's what it's all about. And
And that's what we ought to do. Hallelujah. And like he said, don't take it to heart. Don't be jealous and, 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 and get all caught up in the wrong thing. Hallelujah. I'm thankful for what God has for me. What he does. Hallelujah. Through me. Hallelujah. And I'm happy for other people. And we got to meet it from our hearts. Hallelujah. God gave all of us something to do. And all we got to do is just do what he gave us to do. Keep our eyes on him. We won't have time to be focused on what somebody else doing and get envious and jealous of them. Hallelujah. That ain't the way to be. I want God to bless me with all the promises he said that he can. And in order for him to do that for me and for him to do it for you, we got to be happy for one another. Be truly happy. And help somebody along this team this journey. Because that's what it's all about. Hallelujah. We give God all the praise and honor for what he is doing. Hallelujah. How many of you are available? See, religion, y'all, is what has complicated <laughs> things. Religion has made things so difficult. Let me tell you something. You don't have to join anybody's church. Mm. But if you give your life to Christ, you will want to go to church. Yeah, you, you, you will want to. I'm telling you. You will want to go. You don't have to watch this. You don't have to go to you don't have to go to the water to be a fisherman, but if you become a fisherman, you'll want to go to the water. Amen. To the water. That's right. You don't have to go to the woods to be a hunter, but if you become a hunter, right. you'll want to go to the woods. Amen. So you don't have to go to the church building to be a believer. Jesus. But if you really give your life to, to Christ, Christ, you're going to want a fellowship with Amen. other believers. Amen. That's right. And it's very simple. The Bible says in the book of Romans, chapter 10, verses 8 through mm -hmm. 10, it says, Paul said the word of faith that we preach. Mm -hmm. We preach the word of faith. Amen. And the word of faith got to be in two places. That's right. It's got to be in your heart and it's got to be in your mouth. 
Faith is not faith if it ain't getting you, if, it, if it's not coming out your mouth. My Lord. You say faith is released by what you speak. Hallelujah. And if you start saying what you believe. Yeah. And if you continually, if you consistently speak what you believe. That's right. The Bible says you have what you say. It's, it's, right. it's going to manifest. It's going to come to pass. There's no way. God, 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 one thing God not going to do. God can't lie. Amen. And if you will simply say, and I want y'all to say this after me. And I want everybody that's watching tonight who who are not sure of where you stand with God. I want you to, with, with your whole heart, and mm -hmm. I want you to release your faith, and I want you to believe these words, mm -hmm. amen, as you speak them. And if you believe it, the Bible says God will take your confession, and your confession will become salvation. Mm -hmm. That's what the word says, for with the heart, man, the, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made <clears throat> unto salvation. Amen. Now that's what the word says. Romans chapter 10, verses 8 through 10. Y'all say this after me. Dear God in heaven. Dear God, God in heaven. I come to you. I come to you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm truly sorry. I'm truly sorry. For the way I've lived. For the way I've lived. And the way I've been. And the way I've been. Lord, I realize. Lord, I realize. That without you. That without you. I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm undone. I'm undone. So, Lord, I come to you. So, Lord, I come to you. Just as I am. Just as I am. Without one plea. Without one plea. But that your blood. But that your blood. Was shed, was shed for me, and that you bid us me, and that you bid us me, come to thee, come to thee, O Lamb of God, O Lamb of God, I come, I come, nothing, nothing, in my hands I bring, simply, 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 to your cross I cling, to your cross I cling. In my heart, in my heart, I believe. I believe Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came into this world. Came into this world. He was crucified. He was crucified. He died. He died. He was buried. He was buried. And on the third and day, on the third day, he rose from the dead. He rose from the dead. With my mouth, with my mouth, I ask you, Jesus, I ask you, Jesus, to come into my heart, to come into my heart, and to be my Lord, and to be my Lord, and be my Savior, and be my Savior. And from this day forward, from this day forward, I will live for you. I will live for you. As you show me how. As you show me how. Right now, Lord. Right now, Lord. By faith I decree. By faith I decree. That I am washed. That I'm washed. That I'm cleansed. I'm cleansed. That I'm sanctified. That I'm sanctified. And I'm justified. I'm justified. I'm saved. I'm saved. And I thank you, Lord. Welcome in Jesus' family. name. Welcome in to the Jesus family of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm going to get to the queen. Queen going to close it up. But let me just say for those that are listening that are in the immediate area. Amen. This coming weekend. We will be guests over at the Piney Grove Free Will Baptist Church over in Blackshear, Georgia. Amen. So if you are in the Blackshear, Georgia area, amen. If you're not going to church anywhere this coming Sunday, first Sunday, that'll be October the 3rd, I believe it is. Sunday, October 3rd at 11 o'clock a.m. over at Piney Grove Free Will Baptist Church in Blackshear, Georgia. Meet us there. Amen. Amen. I want you to come and be with us. Amen. As we come and... Amen. Have and have service with Amen. precious Amen. brothers and sisters over in at Piney Grove. Amen. Amen. Looking forward for the Lord to move by His Spirit. Yes, Amen. Yes. So meet us over there. Glory to God and bring. Amen. And make sure, and make sure you wear your shouting clothes. Hey! Amen. Make sure you put on you some comfortable <laughs> shoes. Amen. And put on you something you can you can move in. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. <laughs> because we're coming with a praise. Amen. Amen. And by the grace of God, we're coming with a word. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise Queen, take us on out. Praise Hallelujah. I just want to thank each and every one of you guys for coming in, spending a little time with us. We thank God for you, you, and you. I thank God for everybody that came inside and they spent time with us on today. Well, we all, we all the thing we're trying to do is just tell somebody about the Amen. Lord. That's, That's it. all it's about. And we do that in love. And we thank God for each and every That's one of it. you all. I thank God for new beginnings, and I thank God for all of our viewers. Yes, we thank God for you. That's continue right. to hit like, continue to tag, and continue to share. Yes, and we'll indeed. see you guys next Monday. Hallelujah. So the Lord say so, and I believe he mm. will. Hallelujah. Monday at 630. Monday, 6.30. Thank you. We love right you. Y'all have a good night. God bless you. Amen. Bye -bye. Amen. Amen.